Hello friends, welcome back to Verified So, and in this video, still under the visa refusal, what health grounds can lead to a visa refusal? And this is inclined toward the diversity visa, because that's what I measure in. The health grounds that can cause you get denied the diversity visa during the interview, they include the following. And with me, I have the list here. And this page is from the travel.states website. And here you find relevant information regarding that. Now, in general, who is determined in accordance with the regulations prescribed by Secretary of Health and Human Services to have communicable disease of public health significance. That is the first health ground that if they find out that you have a disease that can pose threat to the health of the public, that is, a transmissible disease that can be transmitted to other people of the public, then you can be disqualified for your visa. Number two, if that one seeking the diversity visa cannot present or fails to present the record of vaccination against vaccine preventable diseases if you fail to produce the vaccination record of the vaccine prevented diseases then you risk visa denial and that's why before you attend your diversity visa interview you are supposed to attend the medical examination and during the medical examination they will ensure that you have all these vaccinations and if you don't have, they are mandated to administer them to you. So if you cannot present proof that you've received these vaccinations against the vaccine preventable diseases, then your visa can be refused. And then down here it says, if you are found to have physical or mental disorder and behavior associated with the disorder that may pose or has posed a threat to the property, safety, or welfare of the alien or others. So if your medical record shows that you are suffering from a mental or a physical disorder that can pose or has already posed threat to property, either damage to a property, or you have caused threat to the public of your country. You have caused harm to the people of your country. If you have such a disorder, then you are likely to get the visa refusal. Still under that, if you are found to have had physical or mental disorder and a history of behavior associated with the disorder which behavior has posed a threat to property or safety or welfare of the alien or others and which behavior is likely to recur and to lead to other harmful behavior. And if this disease is not cured or it is not treatable, and it cannot be dealt with. And according to history, it is also prone to erupt again and cause damage to property or harm to people, then you can be refused this diversity visa. And here again it says, who is determined in accordance with regulations prescribed by the Secretary of Health and Human Services to be a drug abuser or addict is inadmissible. So you cannot be admitted 
to the United States. In other words, your visa cannot be approved if you are found to be a drug abuser or a drug addict. So if you are a drug abuser or a drug addict, then you risk your visa. You'll get the visa refusal. Therefore, guys, those are the medical grounds on which the visa can be denied and nothing else above this. I hope the information is clear and relevant. Please like the video if so. And if you've not yet subscribed, please do so and let's meet in the next video.